Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up a JavaFX project inside IntelliJ. So let's get started. So first, I'm going to search IntelliJ community download. Just pick the first, first link. Um, click on download. You can download an exe, zip, or um, uh, just select an exe. Just click on download, and the download will begin. So for me, I already set up mine. So it's you up to you to set up yours. So once it's zero, uh, you'll open the exe file that you have downloaded. As for me, I already downloaded it, but I'll just download it again. So, it installed you to continue. Yes. Welcome to IntelliJ Idea Community. Click Next. So, click Next. Uh, okay, I will, I'll have to uninstall mine. And I'll install here. Okay, next. So, you'll select the destination folder for your jet prints, where you prefer it to be. Most often, people prefer for it to be in program files. So, unfortunately, I have less space. So it's, it's around 2.9, I have 2.7. All that, just continue, click on next. And try to reason out with this when you're installing it. So after I have installed it, it's okay. I'll just create in my side. After I have installed it, I'll open my IntelliJ. Click on IntelliJ, Idea Community. A new project and you have a panel that will show up just click on new project just click on JavaFX name say select your name around here you'll see some changes let's say this one is a demo app. demo JavaFX demo the group you can set the way you want it including hub dot company then continue on like that. DDK19, that is the preferred DDK that I chose. Next, I'll select the additional libraries. Here we have Bootstrap effects that I'll show you on. It incorporates Bootstrap features inside your JavaFX control effects that helps add additional components in your JavaFX application. Home effects, I've not used it currently. FXGL, not yet. Economy, not yet. Tiles effects. It uses a tiles feature, so I'll just select control effects and bootstrap and validate effects, create. Uh, I'll open it in a new window. And now we have a JavaFX project setup. So, um, a JavaFX project, okay, I will load my moving project here. So, a JavaFX project, this is the way it is structured. Okay, we have the project here. This one is the configuration for the idea, IntelliJ. Uh, you normally don't delve here. We normally delve in source. And in source, we have main, well, it is subdivided into Java and resources. In Java, we have our, our module info and our package. And in the resources, we have the resources that we'll use the resources that we, they are, <clears throat> okay, they are, it will be the place that we'll have our FXML. And in Java, we'll have our controllers. So an FXML works hand in hand with a controller. An FXML is like the front end in a web application. And a controller is the back end that brings the front end to life and makes it dynamic. So if you look here, we have the Hello application. So this is the first stage, the first place that it comes through. In the Hello application, we can see that it starts over here. It starts over here, actually, main, since it's JavaFX is, uh, Java is a subset of JavaFX. And we have launch inside the main. This launch will trigger the start. And the start, the stage, is like the JFrame in JavaFX. The stage, so we load our FXML, this FXML, as you can see over here. And this is how we load our FXML. We call on hello application dot class, meaning that you will get the directory of the class, which is this and this. 
So the class, then she will get the resource of this package that holds hello application inside the resource. Then she will get the resource called hello view.xml. And that's how it works. So if it, when it gets the fxml, this is what happens. The hello controller is called. And inside the hello controller, we 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 normally have initializable, but for now I will use it later on. And module info is where they say you want to use outside resource such as zinc if you know it that is used to scan barcode. Or let me use a simpler one. Okay, for instance, over here we can use devfx.swing, but we'll have to download it. So you can as you can see devfx.swing. We can use it like that. But as you can see here, it's a red, it's red meaning that we don't have the module. And that brings us to form.xml, in which we outline our dependencies, such as the way we outline them in package.json in web applications. And we can add another dependency over here. So we can write D and then we just click on tab and everything will be set. Click on control space, and then just write the right thing. Or if you're not sure about it, you can I can show you another way of doing this. The uh, simpler approach. Just click on control alt shift and s. Or you can click on this tab over here, project structure. And inside the project structure, we have project modules, libraries. So in the module, we have our current modules, and these are the libraries that we have in our module. In the library section, we have the following libraries. And we can add a new Maven library here. You can select from Maven, as I normally do, then just write swing. And then you can search for it. Let me write Java XM and search for it. Yeah, this. this is the list of dependencies that we have. And fix this one over here. We have open open JFX, JFX in. And if you check, we have version 18, 16, and 11. I'll choose 18. And then this, so this is the part such as ours that we wrote org.company inside in their own, they write org.pengfx. And let me show you how to use this. 18 is the version, so you can cut from there. In the dependencies section, so we have this form Excel, we have model version, group ID, version, this is now our one. JFX demo, we have the properties that will be automatically noted down for us. So I'll just use dependency there. I'll just add a new dependency there. Then I just paste the whole text over there. And then uh, at the colon part, I'll just remove this part like that, write version since, and then just paste, write it there. And org.openjfx is a group ID which I'll Delete and delete also the beginning, the um, colon, then just paste it. Then you can make our changes over here. Now we have jobfx.swing, and inside our module, it will be able to read jobfx.swing. So this is our controller, this is our main application. So if we run it, let us run it and see what will happen. Yeah. It's taking some time building, then it starts. Over there. Now we have our project setup. So that's a quick outline of, of it. Let me show you another property. Instead of, you see, if you go to module info, the play button does not seem to work. But if you go to the main application, it comes to life. So, what you can, if you want it to work in any situation, it means we must set the LO application to be there main main application that will be done so click on current file you set the configuration edit configuration add new configuration select on application and give it a name maybe application configuration and select the main class select this as the main class 
and we have the programmer link which you don't need right now. Okay, then the button working there, working over there, working over there, working over there. Yeah, and a project is ready to go. Okay, which I think I show you maybe a uh, suggestion in the comments. It was nice having you and have a good day. Thank you.